Sports Extra, 20 minutes of local team highlights. Brought to you exclusively by Hiller's Flooring America. Let's be honest, tonight would have been a great night to shoot some football outside, but it's all indoors now. U.S. Bank Stadium, the site of the state semifinals and the prep bowl. Pat, it is indoors, but I wasn't wearing my long johns inside U.S. Bank today, and I was freezing. First time since August. Yeah. I'm Mark Powell, alongside sports director Pat Lund. We have an excellent show for you tonight. We got a little bit of everything. We start with the double-A semifinals with number one Caledonia against number two Barnesville. Here we go, head coach Carl Frichty and his squad riding a nation's best 66-game winning streak. Often struggled until the second quarter. Quarterback Noah King goes in from three yards out. Two-point play is good, so it's 8-0 Caledonia. Barnesville answered. Quarterback Adam Tonsfeld keeps the football, gets through the line, breaks a couple of tackles. He'll get to the outside, and he sees a whole lot of green and a whole lot of glory going 78 yards for the touch, 8-6. Maybe this will be a game. No. King with a four-yard pass to Tucker Ginther for the touchdown. Extra point is good. That gave the Warriors a 15-6 lead. The defense came up with some big plays late in the second quarter to shut down any momentum Barnesville was hoping for. Noah King being physical comes up with the sack on Tonsfeld. Caledonia offense strikes before the half. King hooks up with Cole Cronbush. It's a 32-yard scoring play. Cronbush had five catches, 164 yards and a TD. 22-6 Warriors at the half, but Coach Frickty knows there's still work to do. Third quarter, Noah King out of the out with cramps. Little brother Eli takes it in. There you go, big bro. I can do it too. That put things on ice, 36-6. Noah added another touchdown to his resume. Five TDs in the game, over 300 yards of offense after a slow start as the Warriors advance to their fifth straight prep bowl. Oh, and dealing... Uh, Noah, I should say, dealing with cramps. Maybe Owen is tonight down in Lincoln because uh, <laughs> the Jackson, Jackson and, and got to beat up a little yeah. bit. Uh, if Caledonia wins at the Prep Bowl, they'll become the second school in the Prep Bowl era to win five consecutive championships. Next up is third-ranked Minneapolis North two weeks from today at one. 67 straight wins. The state record is 76, set by Stephen Argyle. Noah King talked about the offense getting cranked up after a sluggish first-quarter start. We didn't really change anything. We just started connecting on some plays, and we had opportunities in the first quarter, and you know, just messed with a throw or something like that. And then um, we just started connecting on the big plays, like we often do, and uh, just kind of got rolling and got the momentum going. To North tomorrow morning, uh, that simple, that fast. Um, you know, even as you're halfway through the third, you're figuring, okay, if we don't do anything stupid with the ball, what's North going to do, and so on and so on. I mean. That's where my mind goes right away. That's why he doesn't lose. Staying at the bank. It was open after five tonight. Unseeded 9-2 and Ricori taking on fifth seeded and undefeated Winona for a spot in the 4A prep bowl. First drive of the game. The Windhawks put the ball on the turf. It's Sam Canny losing the football and Ricori would recover. They'd cash in on the turnover. Ensuing possession quarterback Jack Steele. Fakes the pass and tucks and runs. He gets to the one yard line. They'd score on the next play. Winona would be down 7 0. Later in the quarter, same score. Winona looking to attack Jackson Nibblink on the rollout. Looks deep, but his pass is picked off. So the Winhawks turn the ball over again. But it wouldn't matter. Forcing oh. a three and out, the Windhawks strike on special teams. It's a bad snap. Wisconsin commit Aaron Witt is all over that. Touchdown, Winona. We are now tied at seven. Second quarter, the Windhawks take the lead. Tremendous vision here from Nibbling as he scampers in from 15 yards out. Winona was up 14 to seven at the break. Third quarter, the Spartans asserted control. Brady Lynn sees a crease, gets to the outside, and beats the defense to the pylon. We are all tied at 14. Later in the third, Windhawks now down 21-14. Rokorai scores again. It's Steele shaking and baking his way to Pater. Winona's season is over. They lose 48-24. The Spartans outscoring the Windhawks 41-10 after the intermission. But all in all, a great year for the Windhawks. John Casillas again building a team that made it to the Final Four. What a run over the last several years for the yeah, Windhawks. Wow, really the RCTC volleyball team looked to punch their ticket to the national championship in volleyball tonight. Plus, as it was a busy night in Winona. And this morning, this young lady signed on the dotted line to play college basketball at North Carolina. The future 
is very bright for this future. Tar Heel Sports Extra will continue after this timeout.